I am Dr. Vinod Mittal. I am a senior consultant diabetologist at Delhi Heart and Lung Institute and also head of Center for Diabetes and Metabolic Diseases. Now generally there is a question that which medicines are safe in diabetic kidney disease. Metformin is the first line of management in all type 2 diabetic patients besides lifestyle modifications and metformin can be given up to an EGFR of 30. Less than 30 metformin is contraindicated. More than 30 you can reduce the dose and keep a close check on serum, creatinine and EGFR. Other medication, the safest medication in diabetic kidney disease, the group is DPP-4 inhibitors. All DPP-4 inhibitors can be given in diabetic kidney disease. For lenagliptin, we don't need to modify the dose and for sexagliptin, for wildagliptin and cetagliptin, we need to modify the dose. This is the only thing, otherwise they are the safest medicine in type 2 diabetes. Even patients who are having ESRD or who are on dialysis, DPP-4 inhibitors are very safe. The other group, obviously insulin can be given in all uh, diabetic kidney disease patients, even in ESRD. Coming to SGLT2 inhibitors which are relatively new medications are there in the market in India for almost 2 years now. We have all three available, dapagliflozine, canagliflozine and ampagliflozine. Now up to EGFR of 45, they can be given in all the patients provided you properly select your patient. Less than 45, all SGLT2 inhibitors are contraindicated, but definitely even more than 45, I will repeat that you have to avoid in certain situations like patient having sepsis, patient having hypovolemia, patient is already having some renal compromisation. So these are some categories where you should avoid giving SGLT2 inhibitors. Coming to GLP-1 analogs, liraglutide, exenatide can also be given up to an EGFR of 30.